Bo. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is your boy, the host with the most, but humble. And I do mean humble. Dino Stradavis, a.k.a. Derek, and I'm here, of course, on a now a Monday, because it's 12 o'clock now. So I'm here on a Monday to give you the hungry, happy, healthy people here at Russell Crab, of course. The uh, recap, the recap of Double or Nothing. This is 2023 uh, version of the Double or Nothing show. If you're watching it today, you're watching it tomorrow, you're watching it next week. I truly, truly do thank you for the bottom of my heart to the depths. The depth of my loins, I truly, truly do thank you. Without you guys, it truly would not be me. Wouldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. It would be help, helping me watch this show. Oh, my God. With all, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay. So, <laughs> goodness gracious. So, um, we're just going to do some, some, some spring cleaning first, okay? Uh, do not forget to go to uh, my uh, Facebook group uh, page, Facebook group page, which is Wrestle Cram Super Club. Wrestle Cram Super Club. Go and check them out. Have a great time over there. Um, also, I did put the new uh, post on uh, for the community tab. You can go over there and get your questions in. Lots of questions already. Go and get your questions in, okay? You have until Wednesday, Jerry, to get your questions in. Uh, so you can, you know, have a great time over there. So don't not forget Wednesday. You have until Wednesday to get your questions in, okay? Uh, Jerry, <laughs> so uh, get, get your questions in. Have a great time, okay? So let's talk about, um, let's talk about the show, okay? Let's talk about the show. So yesterday I was a little more um, aware of, you know, because, you know, it was in like an, an hour. It was like it came on at 12, you know. So I had plenty of time to re-watch the show and give like a critique on it because there were some matches that I was going to just literally crap on. Um, but I looked at it again. I was like, you know what, let me, let's just hold off. Let's hold off. You know, let's let's see what we can do. And, you know, eventually we'll, we'll get there again. So, but, you know, I watched them again. I was still like, you know, these these matches aren't good. These matches aren't, like, quality, uh, what is it, premium or, you know, quality, like, um, <coughs> I'm sorry, like, quality, like, pay-per-view style matches. Um, AW Double Nothing was pretty much a show that was a bunch of main events for Dynamite and probably Rampage. Um, the only, uh, out of these, what, 10 matches or 9 matches that we put, they put on the card, um, I would have restructured, uh, the, the, the show a little different, uh, because, um, it was just not good. It was, it, the show made no sense, <laughs> you know. And for me to not understand that, you know, you and CM Punk are good now, uh, we still didn't get, you know, a CM Punk. Uh, I would have put CM Punk somewhere on the card because that would have lightened a lot of this out. Uh, put Miro on the card. Put somebody else on the card. Put somebody that we haven't seen in a long time or you just... Um, literally, you know, signed, like, yesterday. So it did something to boost the, 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 the field here, because when I tell you that this show had nothing at all of substance in it, it was pretty much a four-hour, a four-hour dynamite. Probably a three-hour dynamite with a one-hour of rampage uh, sprinkled into it. To me, this was one of those shows where you know they have like uh, uh, the the quake at the creek or like winter is coming or something like that. Or, uh, you know, something in that vicinity that this was, and it was just not. I wasn't clicking on all cylinders. 
uh, at all. Like the the show just was just a it was just a wet fart from the beginning to the end of this. I mean, it was just bad. Now, once again, there were some great spots in this match. I mean, in 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 not match, but in the show itself, it was some great spots in the show. But once again. It, it was now. Don't get me wrong. I, I I put some some uh like I was thinking that you know some people were gonna win, some people were gonna keep their titles. They did not. You know, uh, one we'll talk about with Jade Cargill. Spoiler. Uh, I didn't. I, I hate that she did lose, but I liked how she lost. Uh, so but you know I understand that part. I completely understand that part. But there's some parts on here that was like just head scratching like what the hell is going on? And and I'm I'm looking at my time on on my on my <laughs> on on the on the camera. I'm like I've I've literally been talking about just the bad parts about this entire show. And it's like it's it's this should only be a 30 minute Probably 25 minutes uh, um, of me praising AEW because I've been talking about the Double or Nothing show more than the, you know, the Night of Champions and the uh, Battleground. I was getting text message after text message of people telling me that, hey, um, I have stopped watching a show that I paid for, <laughs> a show that I paid for. To go watch Battleground and Battleground was better. I still have not seen Battleground yet. I haven't seen Battleground. I'm watching Battleground tomorrow. But I'm just saying though, like it's crazy that we get a situation where people have stopped watching something they paid for to go watch something that's on the Peacock Network. That sucks. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh this so we got the Blackjack Battle Royale. Um, it was Orange Cassidy versus uh, 20 other participants. I'm thinking in my head now, you've had this title for a quite some time now. It is probably time. Now, see, this is what I thought because I, I put it on the prediction. I thought that um, Cassidy was going to be like the very first person to be eliminated from the entire thing. So it would give all the other 20 participants uh for a, a, a new title, I mean, a new champion. That's what I thought was going to happen. But, you know, we get him versus Swerve. And I'm thinking, okay, Swerve is going to win a title, you guys. Swerve, who has been there and doing his thing for a while now, Swerve is going to get a title. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. I'm okay with Orange Cassidy uh, winning. I didn't say Orange Cassidy should not have won because I did choose Orange Cassidy to win but once again, we, we get the situation where now there are no black people in the company who has a title. Let me repeat myself. I'm not talking about when, and, and I'm not trying to be the, 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 the angry black man. I'm not trying to be the, I'm, I'm trying my hardest not to be the angry black man. But if you now look at the situation, if you now look at the situation, there is, uh, we're talking about the main line stream. I'm not talking about Ring of Honor. I do know that, um, 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 what's her name over there has the women's title. I do know that. We're talking about the main AEW roster. There is not one African American who has a title in that roster now. Now, when you see to look at it, that truly sucks. Truly, truly sucks. Um, and for three years, oh, four years, I think we've only had, what, uh, uh, Cargill, um, Scorpio, Sky, I think he was. He was TBS champion, uh, and he was a, uh, he was the first tag champion. So out of these years that we, in Powerhouse Hobbs, the, so this is like, Four, four or five years that this company has been here, we've only had four champions, four African. I'm not talking about other other people. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about African Americans. We've only had four 
Count them, four. And once again, I will say this again. I will say this again. We have not seen an African-American male main uh, 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 headline a pay-per-view uh, ever. We've not seen that. I'm sorry. Swerve, uh, Swerve in our glory. I forgot about them too. Swerve in our glory and, and, and the, uh, and, and uh, I don't know what, are they African-Americans of uh, the acclaimed? I don't know, but not seeing a, 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 a group, a African-American, um, uh, headline a pay-per-view. Still haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. It, it, it. I'm just letting you know that. Oh, what not. So, uh, Orange Cassidy did beat uh, Swerve uh, to retain his title yet again. Uh, after that, we get Chris Jericho and Adam Cole. This match was the match that destroyed the entire, not only destroyed the, the, uh, the, the the crowd, but myself, I mean, it was just bad. It was bad. Like, it was... This is when you know that it is time for probably Chris Jericho to find some type of ending point uh, and try to end something where he can uh, get to a, a management position or a training position or a uh, commentator, commentator's position. Because he's a great commentator, I will say that as well. But when it comes to wrestling, it just it, you can see that the, the the situation is getting out of hand when it comes to getting him and putting him in big matches. Now um, we had him versus uh, uh, Adam Cole, and this is a, uh, a non-sanctioned match. Now, if you don't know what a non-sanctioned match is, a non-sanctioned match is a match that when you sign the contract, the company has none has no uh, 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 capability. They have nothing on their hands. It is all on you now. Then this match actually does not even count as a match because there is nothing they can do. I'm thinking that it's going to be more anarchy, more chaos, more drama. It wasn't none of that at all. Quite frankly, it was a match between the Chris Jericho Appreciation Society and uh, Adam Cole, Roger Strong, and Sabu in a suit of all things. A suit. But he wrestled. He did a little bit of wrestling. But why didn't you just come out with ring attire if we knew that you were going to wrestle? Uh, so the first five to six minutes, we get them actually uh, 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 attacking one another. Then eventually we do get the match, which was not good. Uh, we get points. Uh, let me look at these my notes. They're just just bad. Um, so we get a bunch of botches. Uh, we get a fire extinguisher uh, botch. I mean, well, not botch, but an angle where he's uh, he's getting put in the walls of Jericho, and uh, Adam Cole gets the uh, the. A fire extinguisher sprays Chris Jericho, blinds him. Chris Jericho comes out with handcuffs and a chain. Uh, chains up. He chains um, Adam Cole up. We get a uh, situation. I forgot about the Brett Baker and Soraya situation where they uh, come in. Uh, Soraya, uh, Brett Baker attacks Chris uh, with the uh, kendo stick. Um, we get Soraya. Soraya comes out. She tries as well. Uh, we get Adam Cole uh, uh, handcuffing Chris Jericho, and pretty much the end we get a boom kick that was into that. I mean, it was that was it was just not good. It was not good. It was not. It was a that that match right there sucked a lot of the life of the entire show right there. FTR, Jay Lethal, and Jeff Jarrett had a humongous hill to climb when it came to trying to come back from this disaster of a match. Uh, it This match was botchy. Well, it wasn't bad. It, no, the FTR versus Jay Lethal match was very, very overbooked. Overbooked beyond overbooked. Uh, we get a... So we get a... Uh, at Toward the end where uh, Jeff Jarrett attempts to hit uh, Dax... With the uh, guitar, accidentally hits Mark Briscoe. Uh, Jeff Jarrett, wife's hit uh, hits Aubrey, uh, who tried to come in. 
to uh, get uh, to try to uh, be the new uh, ref. She gets uh, El Cabonged by Jeff Jarrett's wife. Um, we get a, uh, a beautiful move uh, with Jay Lethal doing a, both a lethal uh, uh, interject, uh, inter, uh, interjection. <laughs> I, I, I try to say the five times fast. A lethal interjection on both Dax and Cash. Uh, Jeff Jarrett uh, gets the title, uh, uh, hits Dax clean on the face with it. Uh, so we get, now Mark is actually getting a back. He tries to uh, go, go for the one, two, three. He only gets two. Chris Jericho is pissed. Not Chris. Jeff Jarrett is pissed. Uh, and we get where they do the uh, the shatter machine for FTR to uh, win the, uh, the match right there. Uh, but this, this, that wasn't even half of it. So they win. We get a, a situation in the back where Bullet Club Gold are not done with apparently Ricky Starks because Ricky Starks uh, eliminated both uh, Jay White and Juice, uh, Juice Robinson. So they came and attacked Ricky Starks again. Uh, FTR uh, just got done uh, wrestling, came and helped Ricky Starks. So I'm guessing Ricky Starks and um, FTR are now a group. I didn't know that they were okay with each other. I didn't even know they even communicated with each other on the screen. So I was like, okay, I guess. That's what the situation is with that. Uh, after that, we get a Chris Jericho and uh, Soraya uh, backstage in, uh, uh, or just a rant where they're upset. They want a mixed gender tag match on Dynamite between uh, Britt Baker and, of course, uh, Adam Cole. They, uh, they're upset. They're just destroying catering and one of the uh, enhancement talents to, hey, you can't do that. And he gets a fireball in the face. That was the end of that. Uh, after that, we get Christian Cage versus Wardlow at a ladder match for the TNT title. Another, another overbooked match. I mean, this match, first of all, it, it didn't make any sense that Christian even challenged for the title, uh, let alone putting uh, Luchasaurus over. I would put him over over Christian Cage. Christian Cage is one of my favorite wrestlers. I love Christian Cage. But what was the point of you being in there when you could have put Luchasaurus in there? So, but I digress about that. Uh, Wardlow attacks Christian uh, with a ladder, uh, and he was blocking it because I'm guessing he was trying to do a suicide dive. I forgot Christian. He does a drop, uh, does a drop kick onto Wardlow. Uh, he was holding the, uh, the ladder as well. Uh, Warlow grabs uh, two tables and puts them toward the uh, beginning of the uh, ramp uh, and setting up a really huge uh, ladder. Uh, so we get that. That doesn't get into the situation right now. Warlow does uh, grabs Christian, does a spinny thing, a military press onto him. Uh, Luchasaurus comes out to help um, to help Christian. I'm guess gather his thoughts. Throws him back into the ring. Out comes Orrin Anderson. Um, but I uh, forgot. Luchasaurus does like multiple choke slams onto Wardlow. Then we get uh, um, Orrin Anderson. He comes out, tries to bite the thumb off of Luchasaurus. The, the, it was very disgusting. Um, a crazy swan, crazy suicide swan time bomb off the top of this really huge ladder onto Luchasaurus. Those two tables. Um, he's still kind of dazed, so Christian comes in. Well, well, I'll talk about it later. Uh, Christian tries to, uh, uh, now since he's on the ground, he's going to try to attempt to get up there. That doesn't happen. We get Warlow. Warlow wins. Uh, Warlow wins, Jay. Warlow wins. But here's the thing. Um, they, uh, he tries to, uh, go up on a really bad ladder with both of the legs being, um, just destroyed. So they had to throw that ladder, including the referee. The ref is trying to hold the, the ladder as well, but we we don't get that. Um, I think, does WWE have uh, referees in their ladder matches? I don't know. Uh, send, send a comment on there. Let's see what happens with that. After that, uh, we get the Tony Storm versus Jamie Hayter match. Um, so, Tony Storm comes out. We're waiting on Jamie Hayter. Uh, the music comes. No Jamie Hayter. They put the music on again. Uh, eventually she comes out, uh, we get the, the, uh, 
uh, the group, the uh, what are the the outcasts? I'm sorry, the outcasts. They do attack. They're attacking Jamie Hader before the match even starts. Uh, still working the arm on the steel steps. Uh, we get a Sheeta. Sheeta comes out uh, with the kendo stick. Uh, tries to even even up the numbers. That did not happen. We get a Storm Zero, uh, and we get a win by Tony Storm. Tony Storm is now a two-time world champion. Very quick uh, match with this one. Another very, uh, well, not a quick match with this one, but it was the House of Black. Uh, they had an open challenge, and of course, out comes uh, the acclaimed. Now, I didn't watch, um, um, I didn't watch, what was that, um, Rampage. And apparently it looked like they, they set it up for them to face each other. I thought they were going to face each other, but we but eventually they did. So we did get that match uh, only for them to lose. Uh, and I thought they were going to, you know, I thought they were going to build it up to be like for them to win. But I'm thinking they're trying to build up uh, e even more for them to be legitimate uh, trios champions for them until they drop those titles. Because, you know, they just built this entire storyline of them having an uh, a black, uh, what is it, open black, uh, uh, house of black match type thing. So, I mean, let them do what they got to do, and then we eventually will get to the point where, you know, probably the elite uh, grabs those titles again, and we get uh, something uh, over a triple threat for, you know, the elite and uh, the Blackpool Combat Club, you know, something like that. But uh, after that, we get the uh, Jade Cargill versus Ty Valkyrie. Um, this match wasn't that long. Uh, we did get a road to Valhalla uh, that did not work on Jade. Jade does the Jaded, and she wins. Um, now, after that, a uh, smart Mark Sterling comes out, announced that, you know, uh, who else wants to come out and face her? Just like it did on last um, Rampage, where she was just steady getting opponents or whatnot and destroying them. Out comes Chris Stadlander, who has been gone for almost a year, or all, almost over a year. Then she tore her ACL, so she, she's finally back. And uh, she wins and beats um, um, Jade Cargill to be the new, the second only TBS Women's Champion. Uh, congratulations to Chris Stadlander. I knew she was going to be the one to actually take that title off of her, but I didn't know it was going to happen on Double or Nothing. But, you know, they did do that. They did a great job with that situation. Uh, hopefully they give um, uh, Jade Cargill some type of rest uh, after going over and over again defending this title. Uh, hopefully she gets uh, some type of, um, I'm itchy, uh, get some type of rest, some, some type of vacation time now. <coughs> um, but, you know, this feels to me, no disrespect, because I'm going to critique it. This feels more like the uh, Yokozuna versus Bret Hart match. Just, just what it feels like. So, if you don't know, um, Bret Hart faced Yokozuna at the main event of WrestleMania. Um, Yokozuna beat Bret Hart. Out comes Hulk Hogan and does a leg drop and wins the title. So, it's it's just weird to me that what happens with that situation. But, you know, I digress. I digress. We will, we will keep moving. Um, after that, we get the uh, main event. Well, not the main event. They had two main events. The first main event was Darby Allen versus Jungle Boy versus Jack Perry versus Sammy Guevara. All had pretty awesome intros. Um, also, we do now know that Ty Mello is now pregnant with Sammy Guevara's uh, child. Uh, congratulations to those two for that awesomeness. Um, but, uh, I mean, the match was... It was okay. It was okay. Uh, we get a uh, situation where um, Darby Allen uh, attempts to uh, win the match, but Jungle Boy does stop the pin, pissing completely him off. Um, and we get a at the very end where Jungle Boy tries was a, almost hits uh, Darby Allen with the title, but he says he's remember he's not gonna uh, be that type of person, so he drops the title. Uh, MJF. Uh, well, we get a uh, attempted coffin drop by uh, Darby Allen. MJF throws the title onto Jungle Boy uh, for that to happen, uh, destroying uh, uh, Darby Allen's back. And uh, the the hold that 
uh, Darby Allen said he was going to put on uh, MJF. He did. MJF did on Darby Allen to retain the title. Uh, that was pretty much the best match, the only good match. Well, other than that, and the uh, tag match, I would say the tag match was pretty good as well. Um, on the card, after that, we get this re. I'm not gonna say it. the crazy Blackpool Combat Club versus Elite Anarchy in the arena match. This was the main event. Um, Blackpool Combat Club wins. Um, it took me out of the match with the first ten minutes being the music of Wild Thing. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. I don't know. I don't know if it was ten minutes, but it was as long as long could be. Um, the only thing about, I, and I said this on my last one when it, when they had an anarchy in the arena match, it was the Blackpool Combat Club with uh, Eddie Kingston. And I think it was uh, Ortiz. It was Ortiz versus the Chris Jericho Appreciation Society. The thing is with this uh, entire thing is that you cannot get every single piece of this match due to the fact that it is all over the arena. Uh, you do not have that many cameras to uh, show everything. And you cannot just keep going back and forth to everything that's happening. Now, what I would have done... Uh, you know, I would have learned off of the other uh, anarchy in the arena match where it was a ton of everybody else in the back, in the crowd, every in the ring. We had people everywhere. I would have like did like a four segment type of thing on our, on the TV, showing everybody wrestling until everybody eventually gets into the ring. That would have been a smarter thing to do because you would have you could have seen everybody at the same time. But you know you can't I, you can't really critique this match. Even the last time when I saw it, you can't critique this match because there's so much going on at the same time. Um, but you know the Blackpool Combat Club they do win uh, with this. Uh, um, at the end, uh, Kenny Omega said that you know uh, don't don't hold us out yet. Don't hold us out yet. We 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 will check and see what's going on. Don Callis, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, is going to now be the manager of uh, uh, Kakeshka. It looks like that's going to happen. Uh, does look like I, I am reading that uh, Kenny Omega may be leaving uh, AEW altogether to go to uh, the WWE. That's that's something that I've heard. Um, Twitter is upset behind that situation, so I don't know if that's true, but it just uh, puts another, you know, just another nail in the coffin of how crazy AEW is, how, how it has been and how it's going on now. Um, apparently they were trying to sell tickets um, for $10 for like a family pack or something like that. That's how bad that the ticket sales were when it came to this show. Uh, I mean, and I can't even be mad at this, this situation due to the fact of what I saw on my TV. It was not good. It was it was probably three matches tops that was really good. Uh, the I didn't like the battle royale. I didn't like the Chris Jericho uh, Adam Cole non sanctioned match. The tag match was fun, overbooked, but it was fun. Uh, the Blackpool uh, the Blackpool comeback Anarchy, Anarchy in the Ring. I just don't like those matches. I didn't like the first one. I don't like this one. It was just not good. It's not good. It will never be good um, until you get like um, some type of, of of control of the the craziness that's going on, where we can get like at least five to six cameras and they're all showing each thing simultaneously at the exact same time. That's the only thing I can possibly think of that could happen with this situation. Um, I mean, the Wardlow and Chris, uh, Christian Cage match was okay. Um, it, I would have put uh, uh, Luchasaurus in that over over Christian Cage. Uh, the Jade Cargill was, it was okay. You know, the Chris Lantern thing was better than the whole situation. Uh, I did not like the uh, the Jamie Hader and uh, um, the Jamie Hader and uh, Tony Storm match. Didn't wasn't a huge fan of that match. Uh, I mean, the the triple uh, the trios titles was okay. It was a lot of okay matches. Like these matches could have been like 
uh, main eventing on uh, Rampage, or you could have main evented it on Dynamite, and I would have been okay with it. Uh, and I was just pushing that this was going to be a good show. This was going to be a good show, but it was not a good show. I hate to sound like that, but it just did not get, uh, you know, the the money that we spent today, I don't think we could get that back. And, and it sucks that we can't because this was a dud of a pay-per-view to me. In the comments, what do y'all guys think? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? Do you think it was somewhat in the middle? Uh, don't forget to comment. Don't don't forget to comment. Like, share, and subscribe as well. You guys like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, do not forget get your questions in on for Friday. Um, and don't forget as well. I do have a Facebook group play, a Facebook group page. Uh, go over there and hang out with me over there as well. I love y'all so much. The best is truly yet to come. Until next time, love, uh, peace, and of course, of course, of course. It's like almost 1 o'clock, so I need to get some rest. <laughs>